Hey, everybody. I'm Ryan. Ignore that first part. There's about a 10 second delay. Uh, I'd like you to turn your sound on if you got it. Turn your sound on so you can hear me. Sometimes I know people read these things, but uh, I want to share something with you guys to get us started this week. Hold on one second here. All right, here we go. Hey, Vikram, where you at? Let's go. Let me know where you're from. I'm Ryan, one of the co-pilots here at Flow Motion. Hey there, Yoko. I'm up in Canada, or over in Canada, or down, I guess it depends where you're at. Let me know where you're at. We're going to start us off with a little music this week. I got some lights. My daughter gave me her LED lights. It's all about where you're going, no matter where you've been. Like my shade? Let's go. Huh? It's, uh, we're having some fun, right? That's the whole point. Again, let me know where you're dialing in from. How's your week going? Who's excited about Halloween? It's coming up. Let's go. Where are you coming from, Yoko? Good to see ya. Let's go. All right, let's go. How do I stop this? Let's go. All right, all right, let's go. All right. Hey, everybody. Thought we'd try something new to start us off this week. Get the energy up. I learned a lot of that from uh, Tony Robbins. If anyone knows who that is, he's pretty good at these things. He's putting on some pretty cool virtual events these days. All right, party mode. That's right. Hey, Lenata, hey, Vic, Pranjal, Yelko again. Great to hear you. See ya. I don't know if you guys could hear me uh, shouting with the music there. Uh, awesome to see you guys. Thanks so much for dialing in this week. Again, I'm Ryan. We've got an action-packed show. Give you guys all the latest news from Cooking Crush Land. Lots of cool stuff going on there that we've got prepared for you guys this week. And then this week's Who, the weekly happiness offering, is all about show me the money. Huh? Who doesn't want a little bit more money, right? So stay tuned for that. That's going to be the back half of our show this week. Uh, the Philippines, awesome. Great to see you, Yoko. We've got a couple of team members, Liz and Al John, in the Philippines as well. Two of the folks taking such good care of you guys. Again, I just can't be happier about our customer love team. They work tirelessly and happily for you guys, 24-7, getting back to everybody. So again, reach out to them. Uh, so awesome. Travel Kenya, great to see you again. Uh, look forward to these calls. Excited for what we've got for you this week. So without further ado, let's just jump in. I'll just scan the comments. Yeah, if you've got any questions, this is live, you know, we'll answer them, hopefully, if they're appropriate. Uh, if not, then probably won't. Um, but yeah, I'm Ryan. Got some shades, got some lights, we got some music. Again, we got a great show. So let's get started. Let's go. Um, all right. So let me fire up some, uh, some, some stuff for you guys to see that I want to show you. Okay. All this technology here. I got to click on this, click on this. All right. How about now? All right. You should see, uh, yes, this week's presentation, some information from our games. Let me just, uh, I'm going to take a little trip to Cooking Crush Land myself. There we go. All right, everybody. Uh, let's see here. All right. This week, I want to give you guys just a quick update on the calendar of events. Again, every week we've got some super fun events going on in the game. A couple during the week, a couple on the weekend. And uh, we put this out on social media. If you, uh, if you aren't seeing these, make sure to follow us. Make sure to prioritize us in your feed. If you like us and comment and share, that's also going to put it in your feed more regularly. So you'll get to see these things. Um, Instagram, you know, go check us out over there too. Wherever you're at, you know, we want to make sure we can get in touch with you guys. So yeah, we got our live going on. That's today, right? The 22nd got the great coin cookout on the weekend. Uh, that's super fun, right? You can just keep going and compete with the best around the world in each restaurant. So 
we've got those going every week. Want to just make sure you guys know all that. Uh, love to give a shout out here to uh, some of our contest winners. Again, really appreciate you guys uh, participating and getting yourself a chance to win some super cool prizes and uh, stuff in the game. Oops, sorry. Uh, so, yes, big shout out here. Diane, Tada, Rosie, Sandra, Catherine. Congrats to all you guys. Really appreciate you guys uh, playing full out. And uh, all right. And stay tuned for the contest as well. The next one's coming up. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, every week we're also going to put in some tips and tricks. You know, we do some stuff in the games. We do some stuff uh, outside the games in this bigger game we call life. That, uh, you know, we're gaming life. Make it fun, right? Um, so, some tips this week. We want to share a little bit around why cooking games can make you happier. So, our team's put this together. Some awesome stuff in here. Let's go. Uh, you get exposed to creativity and imagination, right? Get to travel to some new places, check out some new food, get to experience this stuff. And uh, so there's some there's some great stuff in there. Better hand-eye coordination. I know I played a lot of video games growing up. My Nintendo, I had, I had the, I'm going to date myself here, but I had the Coleco and the Atari and a ton of games for both. And then the, the Nintendo, uh, oh, even before that it was the Commodore 60, anyways. Um, but yeah, hand-eye coordination. I, I got really good at that and, um, yeah, helped me out. I'm sure it was, it was helpful in my sports. I played a lot of sports, hockey, tennis, baseball, soccer, all the good stuff. So yes, better hand-eye coordination. Uh, this, I think this one is super important these days, you know, like, um, I think it's a I'm pretty sure it's a little harder for us all to get together in person. And, um, the, one of the great things about these games, and we've got this in our games too, is you can, you can connect with other people, right? We've got this common thing in common. We love AS and we love, um, we love these games, right? We love cooking. We love to have fun. Great. And you can meet new people in these games, you know, check out our private Facebook group. There's some awesome stuff going on in there and, uh, in our games too, you can, you can join a team. You guys can be chatting up in, in the, in the team there and, um, I uh, just need to turn something off here. That shouldn't have gone off. We'll just close that. Um, yeah, so meet some new people. You chat them up, you know, get some tips and strategies as well to help you in the game. And uh, so that's super fun. And yes, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, there's some tips and some tricks. Uh, we'll share a little bit more around why these games can be just great. And that's a big thing for us, right? We, we want you guys to have a ton of fun and... Hey, can we can we can we bring more to you guys than just the game? So as I'm sure a lot of you have seen, we've got the happiness offer while well, the how in the game. We're gonna keep making that better and better and, and bring some of the stuff that we're talking about. You know, we've talked about gratitude, we've talked about breathing, we've talked about abundance last week, we've talked about state and just how we can feel better and better. So we're going to fuse more of this uh, that we're talking about here into the games as well. Give you guys some cool prizes and rewards for just doing the stuff that we all know is, is, is helpful, right? It helps us be happier and healthier. Hey, Jordan, what's up? Awesome to see you. So glad you could dial in. We're right on game updates here. We're focusing some attention on our amazing customers. Really appreciate you guys writing in and, and letting us know, again, good or bad, how we're doing Again, if you have something you think needs to be fixed or a suggestion to improve the game, I highly recommend please reach out to our team in the game through the chat. That gets it to us, right? If you put it on the store, it's hard for us. We can't email you. We don't know who, you know, your contact. It's very hard for us to, to help you and fix the thing. So use the in-game chat in the settings, help menu. You'll see that you can now get an immediate response from our team. Our team, well, not immediate, but our team is working amazingly fast to get you guys a response. So Go in there with anything that you need help with in the game. Even if you don't know, you know, if you're stuck on a level and you're not sure how to pass it, or if you need, you know, if you're, if you're frustrated by something or you just want to say, hey, and, and thank our team for doing a great job, then please use the in-game chat. And then on the stores, again, love for you guys to go in there. Let us know, you know, if we are doing a great job, that helps let other people know. And uh, really, again, we read these out every week in our team meeting. We highlight a few and we just love to hear from you guys. So thank you for reaching out, Anne and uh, Nohemi, if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, right, better than some. I've been passing some time. Oh, yes, yes. These are very important things. You know, uh, these games can be a great way to just take your mind off some other stuff, help you have some, some fun. Um, yes. Yeah, so 
Thank you guys for writing in. And let's see here. Oh, yes. Last thing here. We've got a sneak preview again. Shared a little bit last week. We're going to share a little bit more this week. Um, I think there was a bit of a delay. I think I might have said last week it was just about to come out. It is. I think I said last week, last weekend, but it's coming. We'll let you guys know. Stay tuned on social media. You know, it's software. Things sometimes break. It, there's bugs. I mean, I, you know, who hasn't had? I had the blue screen on my laptop yesterday. Who hasn't had their frustrations with software, right? Um, even coming on this call, Zoom said my video wasn't going to work, but hey, here I am. So check out this. This is the sneak preview. This is some really cool, exotic, wild food. And I uh, love the uh, the cow there and the monkey. Super cute, super delicious, um, super fun. Uh, it's super good layout. You guys are going to really enjoy this one. So this is later in the game. It's going to give you guys a really good challenge. Look forward to you guys being able to play that. So I believe those are all the game updates we've got. Uh, let me just take a little sneak peek here at what I've got on my slides. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. All right. Let me just make sure we do this right. Okay. Any questions? Again, let me know where you guys are dialing in from. Uh, love to hear what you're getting dressed up as for Halloween. I don't know yet what I'm going to be. I'm kind of usually the last. We kind of get the kids all set with their costumes. And then uh, I kind of get thrown together at the last moment. But uh, Day from Brazil. Awesome to see you. Thanks for joining us. Love Brazil. Spent about a month there, all the way from Salvador de Bahia, all the way down to uh, Florianopolis and Rio. And uh, yes, uh, where are you from? That'd be awesome to hear which part of Brazil. This That was what, well, 15 years ago, maybe I was there. Uh, I'm up in Canada. We've got our amazing team. We've got folks in Romania, the Philippines, India, Pakistan, Vietnam, United States, and uh just love that we can be able to connect with you guys all around the world. And we've had someone play our games, I think in every country. So that's phenomenal. And again, we're here to bring you guys just more and more fun. We're always packing new updates in every two weeks is uh, typically what we try and do. And uh, more and more restaurants, more and more features, more ways to make the game fun. And then keep layering in some of these great things that uh, we've, we've experienced ourselves and that's been scientifically proven to, elevate our mood, increase our happiness, you know, enjoy life a little bit more. And today in our who, our weekly happiness offering, excited to share with you guys. I'm going to lose this background for a second. Uh, you know what? I'll keep it. It's good. Um, and I'm small right now, aren't I? Oh yeah. Okay. So we're going to play a little video clip here. We got about five, six, seven minutes left. I like to keep these to about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, so let me play a little video clip. We probably got about 10 let me play this video clip. Video clip. You're going to enjoy this. If you haven't seen this movie, it's a good one. It's a classic. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, Dario's going as a gorilla. Oh, that's good. I want to see that. Um, yes, she knows. Yes, no Brazil. Well, welcome. Yes, yes. Brazil was awesome. Got to go to Argentina as well. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm sharing my screen. Yes, I am. Here we go. Let's tee up this clip. Hopefully, we don't get in trouble for using it. Um, oh, this is all around. So this week's who the theme is show me the money. Like I said at the beginning, who doesn't want a little bit more, right? Maybe some people want a lot. Um, there's some things that, yeah, my kids need, my wife wants, I want, you know, I want to give more, help out charities more. Again, a big charity that we support is Backpack Buddies here in Canada, right? It's just this thing that gives us more choices ultimately. And, um, that's what I like about it. It just gives us some more choices. This is uh, from the clip. This is a clip from the movie Jerry Maguire. All right, let's play it here. Oh, wait, I got to hold on. I want to make sure you guys can hear this. Uh, let me try this again, because that would be a shame if you didn't get to hear it. All right, here we go. Show me the money. Feel free to shout it out. Hopefully, you guys can hear this. Show you the money. Show you the money. Show you the money. 
me the money. Show me the money. Yes. Louder. Show me the money. That's it, bro. You got to yell that shit. Show me the money. I need to feel you, Jerry. Show me the money. Jerry, you better yell. Show me the money. That's awesome. And I cut it. I realized that there was, sorry about that. There was one swear word in there. There was another one that I made sure we stopped right before that. Um, yes, Jerry Maguire, super hilarious clip. I really hope that the uh, audio worked for you guys on that because that's pretty much the whole point of that clip. Uh, yeah, so what I wanted to share this week around money is uh, I attended a phenomenal course, virtual course this past weekend, uh, all around money and feeling better about how to uh, use it for investing and making more, like have your money go to work for you, right? Um, but there's some real key components to this. So this course for you, for those of you who, who are interested in maybe investing, maybe maybe making a little bit more for yourself, because uh, if you don't really know, you're, you're either potentially, this is my story, I was given my power away to someone else to take care of it for me, right? Oh, I'm going to hire someone smarter than me to take care of my money. Well, there's reasons why that's not always the best case. Sometimes it is. Um, but if you're interested in wanting to take some of your power back, we've talked around health, around how to do this, and money is the same thing, right? We have the ability to, but sometimes we just don't get taught these things. There's a lot of jargon. You know, it's kind of like the law and medicine and some of these areas where there's some fancy words that I don't understand. So I got to pay a lot of money for someone else to translate it for me. I mean, they're, they're expensive translators. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of value that they add in, in expertise that they have, but there are some things that I can understand if I just knew the language. And that's what I've realized so valuable with money, with investing is, is just to understand the language and, and what's possible out there. So, so two things, yes, being able to take your power back and then, you know, it's not that hard these days, right? We have a lot of access to information and to these tools that we can do these things ourselves, so I'm going to, I'm going to share a couple things that are important around this. It's, it's, you know, it's not around just investing, right? Cause there's some real important fundamentals. First, we talked last week around abundance, just having that mindset that there's more than enough, right? I'm more than enough. There's more than enough going around. I'm not operating from that place of fear from scarcity, right? I'm coming from that place of abundance because fear will get you in a lot of trouble in, in the wrong situations, right? This fear of missing out is a big thing in, 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 in the investments and stocks and the markets. And you'll hear all this, you know, the news report anyways. Um, so, yeah. And so if you don't know though, the last thing I wanted to say on this point was you're gambling. Basically, if you don't have the knowledge and you're relying on headlines and what someone else says, I mean, you're essentially just gambling. You might as well just go to the casino and stick it on, you know, on the table. So the fundamentals I wanted to share with you guys, again, these who's every week, we want to make sure we leave you guys with stuff that we've proven ourselves and experienced ourselves that work for us so that you guys can take these things away and start to implement them immediately. So around money, there's a few things I want to say. Oh, if you, if you want to know the name of this course, just, just message in the chat and I'll tell you at the end. Um, first around money, you know, start to educate, right? Fill your mind with some great books some people that have already learned this stuff before us. You know, some of the ones I recommend think and grow rich. That's been, that's a classic that was written over like a hundred years ago. Phenomenal, right? Think and grow rich. Cause so much of it, pretty much all of it's up here. And I know, yes, I can share a lot more of my stories another time around my, my work to uh, unravel some of this and just get, you know, a stronger mindset around money. So that one's a great one. One I've read recently um, is rich dad, poor dad. And it, doesn't matter if dad or mom, but the point is that maybe you didn't have the best teacher. Not many of us did right around money and, and what it means and how to use it and how to make more of it and all this good stuff. So it's a great story uh, around just two different parents that had different belief systems, different philosophies around money. And it helps you see where maybe you, you know, grew up in, in, in the sort of belief programming that you received and, and do you believe that yourself? So recommend that one. And that'll just help get you clearer on what you really want to believe around this and some steps even from that book around what you can date, take, sorry, what you steps you can take to get control of your own finances and money. So that, those are two great books, sort of, you know, found fundamentals, tons out there. I just, you know, recommend those two right now. 
the last one was rule one investing. So I'll save that one just to the very end here. Rule one investing. That's a great education around stock markets, which I'm sure you, you know, wherever you are, I'm sure you see some of these things in the news and whatever. I mean, especially, I guess, here in North America, but everywhere, no, not everywhere, but anyways, I'll stop that rant. Um, it's a great education around just the markets and this game that gets played and, and some of the rules that I didn't really appreciate exist in some of the opportunities for the little guy, you know, the little, the us, we're not the big fish out there, but um, there's that, that's an advantage. We have these great advantages. So it's a great education just on the, on, on the markets and investing just at a general level, but how to put your money at work and, and make sure it's doing more for you. So, Hey, Kelly, great to see ya. Um, and so I want to say a few things then fundamental principles here. Look, we got to make sure that we spend less than we make. That's one of the most fundamental rules. And we're going to bring on some great people. I'm going to interview some people and bring you guys some great knowledge around this as well, more than me. Um, but the things that I've learned is you got to spend less than you make, right? Otherwise you're working for someone else. Maybe you already work for someone else, but now you're working for someone, someone else. You're going to work for the government because they're taxing you more. You're working for the bank because you're borrowing more from them. You're working for the credit card company, whoever it is. For me, I want to feel free that I don't have to work for anyone. But if I rack up these debts, then now all of a sudden I got to work for them to pay them back. So really getting control of your earning and spending is a fundamental place to start. The other is just making sure you know what you got right? To be able to show me the money, I got to know my money I got. So you got to take an inventory. I just created a spreadsheet and it has all the things that I you know, own, which I used to think were assets, but they're not really because they don't actually make me any more money. But you just want to make a list of everything you own, maybe on what they're worth, right? If you have a house or a car or whatever, some special valuables, everything you own, everything you owe, all your debts, right? Whether it's credit card or, or mortgage or you know, someone you borrowed for, for you know, some, someone else, you owe money to. You want to take an inventory, at least of where you're at in terms of what you got, what you owe, what you make every month. Do, do a simple budget. There's some pretty phenomenal online tools for these that are free just to get you to understand where is it all going, right? How much is coming in? How much is going out? Taking our power back. Fundamentally, we just need to understand these things. Where is it all coming from? Where is it all going, right? Start to get control of that. Make a little extra room for yourself. And then you get to have this next level of fun where you got to pay yourself first so that you now have something that's going to you that you can put away. And the math on this is phenomenal. The earlier, it doesn't matter when you start, but the earlier you start doing something with that extra, creating the extra, doing something with it, starting to put it to work. Just look up compound interest, right? Compounding. The math on this is phenomenal. This is like Einstein, just it blew his mind. And that's a lot to say for Einstein is just start wherever you're at and start as early as you can and start with whatever you got, just a tiny little bit. And Ideally, you know, you start to take control of what you can do with that. At minimum, give it to someone. Again, there's a whole bunch of stuff, resources. Let us know if you want any more tips on this, but give it to someone who can get you some appropriate returns on that so that it's making more while you sleep, right? You worked hard for this. You don't want it to just go, you know, and in, in, in off to somewhere and trust someone's doing their job, but they're not, you know. So that's my rant on show me the money. This course was called Rule One Investing. I took it this last weekend. It was phenomenal. I just I wanted to share that with you guys because it really lit up a lot in my mind around, wow, this isn't actually as complicated as some people make it out to seem. And I want to share that with you guys. If there's anything you want more of in your life, if you do want a little bit more money, if you want some more choices for yourself, for your family, be able to give back more, um, there's just some fundamentals. So Christy, thank you for your comment there. Yeah, having your money work for you is huge. Uh, and it's and it can be so powerful when it's set up. It doesn't have to be that hard. And uh, so that's our who for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Sprinkled in a little bit more fun here. We got some music. We got some live video. We've got, uh, we got, we got, we got shades on. I'll mix it up next week. It's going to be Halloween. I'd love to, again, hear what you guys are going to go dressed up as. I need some ideas. And uh, really appreciate you guys dialing in. Uh, again, check out, wait wait for the new restaurant that's coming out. Check out the live events. And, uh, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Keep having fun. Till next week. I'm Ryan. Ciao.